It doesn't matter if you spend a soccer game scoring goals or picking dandelions, you've probably wondered who invented soccer in the first place. Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. It might seem like soccer has been around forever, but it's actually a relatively young sport in human history. People have been playing sports for a long time. Even the Olympic Games are well over 2,000 years old. But soccer as we know it today has only really existed since the 1800s. It's certainly true that people have been playing ball games for thousands of years, like the ancient Chinese game of Kuju, or the Japanese variation called Kamari, which was kind of like a soccer meets hacky sack. There's also the Roman game of Harpastum, which was a bit like a rough and tumble version of rugby, as well as tons of variations on ball games played by different cultures all around the world. During the Middle Ages, folk football took form, which was a forerunner to modern day soccer and became a popular pastime across England and other parts of Europe. But back then, the game was still a bit of a DIY kind of thing. So each village and town would come up with their own version of the rules, with some being decidedly more violent than others. As you might imagine, all the local variations made it hard for students from different schools to play together once they reached university, since they all grew up playing with slightly different rules. Not ideal. Clearly, soccer needed clear rules that everyone agreed on, and in 1863, that finally happened. That's the year that a collection of 12 soccer clubs around the London area banded together to form the Football Association and agreed on a set of rules that were printed and passed out. These new regulations officially made it against the rules to touch the ball with your hands, except for goalkeepers. This differentiated soccer from rugby once and for all and allowed anyone anywhere to play the game with the same rules. Now, all anyone needed was a rule book, a ball, a field, and some nets, and they could play soccer. It wasn't long before the game spread across England, all across the world, and became the planet's most popular sport. And you can drop that bit of knowledge on your friends next time you're playing. Probably on a TV.